holler and holler back. Holler back. Joey Hollenbeck. All right, everyone. Thanks so much for listening to another episode of Full Body Cast Presents Hollering with Hollenbeck. No, hold up. I'm just checking it out, bro. Okay, so we got Joey Hall back on the mic. Hey guys. And last week we talked about the chicken parm that I and made. Ladies. That I that I absolutely burnt the crap out of. Um, but th- I salvaged a few pieces. So that's my sauce. I got I got the uh, I got the tomato sauce. Joey's gonna take a bite now. It's a little cool. Okay. I'm just oh, trying I, the sauce right now. Just that's just the sauce. That was simmered for four hours. Did you do anything besides pour the jar out? No, no, that was that's 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 peeled tomatoes. Oh, you made it by scratch. Yeah, made it by scratch. It was pretty good. Pretty good. You ever try red pepper flakes in it? I did not do red pepper. I I almost thought I did think about it. Granted, this isn't chicken parmesan. This is just breaded chicken with uh, mozzarella and some and some sauce from scratch. It's actually pretty freaking good. No, you just you're just I'm being real with you. It's really, good. it's good. What do you like about it? It's good flavor. It's good flavor. It tastes like you put chicken. It tastes like you put parm in it. No, nope. you didn't. No parm. No. Only thing is, it's not as crispy. Like you said, like the breading soaked up the oil. Yes, but it's not horrible at all. Um, would, would you have expected that coming out of when you, your eyes are smoked out? You still are. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good. The, it's good flavor all the way around. Honestly, it's good. Okay. Well, thank it's you. Good. Thank I you. I would crisp up. I would make it a little crispier. Yes. Not yeah. burn it. Right. Not to say that you <laughs> Not to say that you burn, but I'm saying right. crispier crust. <clears throat> How do you get a crispier crust on an iron? Sc- I'm just asking, right? So you, I know you, you air fry. fried it. You have to fry it. Fry the like, like fry like fried chicken in a sense. Yep, you got to put more oil in it. Got more more yeah, oil. The right type of oil. Yeah, and then it's got to be, be vegetable. Hot. It's got to sure. be hot, hot like in the sense like if you have a little water on your hands and you sprinkle it it's, on there, it's gonna it's gonna yeah. fire up. So hot, so it's gonna fr- flash fry it. Once that happens, it the there's don't get me wrong, there's still gonna be oil in it, but it's going to. Be a quicker fry instead of a soaking fry, if that makes sense. Yes. You know? Yeah, this was a definitely a soaking fry. It was good, though, dude. I mean, granted, I only had one bite, but it, right. it was good flavor. Okay, and here's the other thing. Uh, I don't know who does, like, food contests, but Jamie, like, she went and found the, the best. She, like, she hunted around the, in there and found the best one. So you got the best, like, there was I, – I just gave you a – that was not just some random one. We <laughs> – we uh, we actually ordered that one from uh, Il Siciliano, <laughs> just for you. No, but, dude, it was good. It was good flavor. But if you think about, listen, next time you do this, pour your breadcrumbs into a bowl or however you do a plate. Yeah. Season it very well, like maybe red pepper flakes, Italian seasoning, salt. Pe- oh, not I'm, too I'm much seasoning salt. the sauce. I should be seasoning the, also season the, the bread. You now understand this. You're breading. Mind. You're breading. You're not going to use a ton. If you put Parmesan in it, you don't want to use much salt because Parmesan is already a salty cheese. So you're going to use like pepper, red pepper flakes if you like a little spice to it, Italian seasoning, Parmesan cheese, breadcrumbs, mix all that together, egg seasoning, egg breading, egg breading, egg breading, and then fry. And then put it in your pan. Then pour the sauce over it. Then put the cheese on it. I can't wait to try this now. You just okay, ask backwards a little bit. A little it, bit. It tastes yeah, good though. It's yeah. good. It, it didn't taste nearly what it smelled like when I walked in. <laughs> good. That actually that makes me feel good. It was nice to hear that compliment. You got it, buddy. So maybe what I'll do <clears throat> is before you come here, when I when I know, okay. and Seth will know. Um, maybe I'll maybe I'll whip something up. You take a bite out of it and tell me what you think. And I want brutal honesty. I want improvements and also, uh, you know, compliments. You got to try other things too. That's the that's the. Uh, <coughs> oh yeah, next next time we do this, it'll be a different dish. The sketchy thing about cooking, which I learned, it's just like you got to say screw it and like throw things at it to try to make it like taste better, like or try something new that may be like the aha, like oh, okay. Now flavor wise, since we're 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 right into flavor town with Joey. 
Hollenbeck. It was good flavor. So Flavor Town, you needed something in your sauce. Yeah, and you're missing something in your sauce. You ever? Okay, so listen. So that was so tomatoes. Do you ever put any sugar in it? Yes, you did. I put I put a little bit of sugar, not a lot, but I put uh, I put like a, a tablespoon of two tablespoons of sugar in there. Okay, and then I put whole tomato peeled, and then I put tomato two tomato sauces. I didn't put any tomato paste in. I should have put maybe mm. one tomato paste. You knew some potato. It, it thickens it. Yeah, and then um, I put garlic, in, garlic, onions. I, I, I I I garlic an onion first in in olive oil simmered for about fifteen minutes. And yeah, that's then, where you can use olive oil for sure. And then I put then I put the the and I put a little water in too because it, obviously it's gonna it's gonna burn it's gonna simmer for four hours simmered it for four, okay. and then oregano some um, more garlic powder just a little bit of garlic more gar- garlic powder salt pepper and uh, and that was it. Would you go? I I feel like it needs a little more pepper. Like some sort of like spice, some just a sort little of bit to kick. kick. Because yeah. if you think about if you think about like a tomato sauce out of a jar, which I don't even know if people listen to this, but if you think about tomato sauce out of a jar, it's seasoned, it's ready to go, it's like everything, yeah. right? Right. You're using an absolutely completely bland <laughs> tomato. <laughs> yes, and tomato you're right. Yes, yes, and putting it in. Um, so there's tomatoes that are amazing. They're called San Mar. Mm. San, it's almost like a yellow and red can. Right, they're like the best. But, anyways, enough about that. What enough do you got that. for me? How okay. was your Vegas trip? Vegas bro? trip was good. Okay, let's 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 walk it through real quick, and then I'll tell my my disgustingly embarrassing story. Disgustingly embarrassing story. I don't want to hear. Okay, just go. Okay, so real quick, so flew flew in. Hold on, when did you guys go? So we went. Uh, we and the fl- whole family's going. No, correct? just well, not the kids. Right, but, but by but uncles all the and aunts and adults, yeah, and cousins, and there's some. How many Wichita, people total? Probably Wichita? about thirty to forty. Yeah, Wichita. Yeah, thirty to forty of you guys. I was gonna say, yeah, you guys were making the buffets, you bitch. <laughs> we we he had a hotel uh, suite up in uh, up in at Caesar's Palace, overlooking the Strip. We were able to. Uh, we, me and Jamie got our palazzo on, uh, Venetian area. Uh, we did well gambling. Who cares about that? So. Then we went. We, you won. You walked out ahead. We lo- we didn't lose as much as we thought we would. Okay. So that's a win. So that's a win. Um, but you lost. But we lost. But we didn't lose as much as definitely not as but much. But did you lose enough to be able to get like a little upgrade? Oh on your next, yes. Your oh, next yes, run. Yes. 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 Let's yes. see. So I don't know if you know this or not, Trav. Yeah. This is how casinos suck you in. Yeah. Is they give you free rooms. Yeah. Which probably costs them nothing. Yeah. And then you go and drop. Five grand. We got our we got our twenty twenty one. Then you go drop five grand downstairs. Win loss, and they're still ahead of the game. And then, yeah. But here's the thing: we got keep inviting you back, and you think you got to keep going bigger to get bigger. We rooms. got we got our win loss, our win loss for w for our W twos from what? Because you use the card from the Venetia. We use the card. Yeah, I won't tell you the number, but what it came down to? Could you have bought a new car? No. I mean, yeah. <laughs> but uh, but also no, we won a lot back. So we actually only lost out of the four times we went to the Venetian and played the card in 2021, uh, like 350 dollars. And we got free rooms every time we went. Does that count as a write off? Uh, for, I mean, do you get like any perks because they give any free rooms, or do they tax you on that? Or no, what? no, 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 nothing. It's all, it's all. The pay- Vegas doesn't have any tax like that, right? Well, I, I, I think they they got resort fees. I don't know if that's a part of it or not, but we don't pay. We don't even pay the resort fees. Like they want us there. You? We don't even tip the people. <laughs> They want us there. We, we don't even tip people. We give them a good survey at the end of the trip. Uh, <laughs> we don't even tip people. I even got people bringing me cases of water from Walgreens down the road. <laughs> so, so we went. We did. We did ninja karaoke uh, right off the right what off. Talk, what's ninja karaoke? No, I, well, that's what they call it. Is it, that's a place? It's like it's called ninja karaoke, but it's a place that's a, just a karaoke bar that you have your own room, and we were rocking out. And this is your whole family. A whole family. Okay. Yeah, COVID definitely the first night. Did you just get? Did you just get blanked out? No, because my parents are there. You know, I gotta. Sometimes I just have that weird. You know, my dad almost rolled me comparing Vegas. Yeah. I, I, I gotta. Yeah, I, yeah. yeah. So I mean, I, I do, but I don't go hard, hard. Um, and are you like, hey, Jose, give me a couple shots in the back? Yeah, I did buy my mom a drink because someone spilled hers. Well, that was nice of you, Trav. Yeah, but I, I mean, but 
it really did. It like touched her. Like she was just like, hey, she, cause she, oh, she was just sitting there and she's like, I said, where'd your drink go? And she goes, there. And she pointed to it and it was just toppled over. And I go, oh, she asked someone came over and knocked it over. And I go, you, yes, excuse for me to go get a double. At the bar. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be right back. And I'm like, I love you, mom. You? I love you, mom. I love you, mom. Mom, I love you. I got you. Yeah. It went, went got it. Brought it back, and, and she, she wasn't expecting it. She's like, thank you, son. Thank you. You know, it was very sweet of you. And I said, it's Jamie's idea. I'm the idiot. <laughs> you. <laughs> That's a hurricane. <laughs> I'm calling the Uber for you right oh, now. Oh, right now. <laughs> uh, I also, for my brother's birthday, I earned enough points on the My Vegas app to get uh, three two, night stay at two, Circus Circus. Two nights something? at New York, New York. And, uh, and anyway, I didn't know this. They checked him out. After one night, and I accidentally only got them reserved them one night, but the email said congratulations on your two night stay. So I took a screenshot. There they called me on their, you know, their second no, right before their second night, and every you know they they got they're like oh yeah sorry you guys got to get out of here, and they're like what are you talking about like this is a two night stay this is my brother's birthday present for me. And and so Adam called me, and I'm like, "What's going on?" He's like, "Hey, uh, they're kicking us out of here. We only had one night." I'm like, "This bull crap! They don't have. I got two nights here. I'm looking at the email right here. Let me talk to your. Let me talk to the rep that, that you're talking to." And so she gets on the phone, and I'm like, "Yes, this, says, this email says two nights." Well, the email heading said two nights, but the body of it only said one night. And I'm like, well, that's bull crap. Why would you put a heading that says congratulations on redeeming your two night stay, but then in the body of the email say one night? Granted, maybe I was the one that goofed up the dates, but say one night. Anyway, uh, she eventually, after five, ten minutes, uh, she, w- I'm like, I'm talking to a supervisor. And it, right when I said that, and I don't know if she even heard that, she was already probably in process of hooking us up. I just had to pay another resort fee. So that was good. Um but here is and, and everything was fun. Everything was fun. We had a great time. They went to a Styx concert. I don't know Styx. They you know, they know Styx. And and I didn't so all of them go. I thought it was a take it or leave it thing. Because we did Top Golf earlier and that was a take take it or leave it thing. Um and then it turned into uh they all go to Styx, all forty of them, and uh, you know. I didn't go. I was me and Jamie were the only ones who didn't go, and I feel like that was like super party foul. Didn't know, had no clue. Um, anyway, dude, you didn't go to Sticks. I didn't go to Sticks. You know? Do you know some songs? You know at least one song that Sticks plays. Yeah. What? I mean, off the top of my head, but if I heard Re- it. Renegade, uh, uh, the um, yeah, see, that's, I don't know anything else. Like, I didn't know them all. And then and there was, and Hart was there. I don't know. I don't know Hart either. What? If yeah. you heard the songs, you would. Yeah, a little bit. But but my brother said it was awesome. They all said it was awesome. I guess it was just, it would be fun even if you didn't know the songs. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I wish any I, concerts legit. I didn't go. So you didn't go. So what'd you do? You went to Top Golf? <laughs> we did Top Golf with them. That was fun. Um, How but, was your bro in Vegas? Was he just like, bright, it was, was he like Brad Eyed and Bushy Teller? Or was he just like, Deer in a headlight. So they drank a five. I told them, I said, listen, we're going to go to Fremont because they flew in. They got in at 10 p.m. Yeah, and he said he was going to go to bed. Yeah, and I said, you're drinking. And he, Actually, I didn't say that. He was drinking a five-hour energy, and then they hit the town. They hit Fremont hard. We actually left at 2 a.m. They were still out there on Fremont, and I didn't know that. He didn't know when Fremont ended, so he kept walking down Fremont, and he went past the Denny's. He went past. He started getting to these bars. Where now people, he's still in jail. <laughs> <laughs> he, he said his spidey lens, his spidey senses were up, and he's like, I, "I probably should turn around and get back out of here." <laughs> and uh, and so they so they they got out of there. Um, but yeah, they kind of took some time for themselves, which is good. I it gets a little sketch down it's there. It's super that. sketch. I mean, I've never been I past. I've never. I've only been to Fremont like maybe once or twice, <clears throat> and like kind of in the heart of it, you know, right. where there's the playing and doing this and that, but. uh I know that like Circus Circus around there, and like it's a it's a yeah, it's a sketch, super sketch, yeah. Than the strip, and not uh, to say the strip isn't a little sketch either, but but he had a good time. That was fun. It was fun to see him and show him some games because you know they only have so many games in in at the you know casinos we gamble around here. Um, you you want to at least turn your uh, your bumper off so Shut that people up. so people don't hear you that texting through my stories. But I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it there because the disgusting 
story. I need full attention, and currently, um, I'm getting I'm getting about half attention. I'm I'm here. I okay. got you. Got my full attention. Yeah, no, I, that's what people say when there's not full attention. And you would have laughed at that if you were paying attention to what I just said. Just pause it for a second. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> anyway, all right. So, do you want to hear the disgusting story? I guess. I mean, not really, but yeah. I shit my pants in Vegas. I, I knew that's where it was coming. How? Where? How did you know? Well, I mean, what else disgusting story would it be? Why? Why are we talking about this? Okay, what happened? I mean, so here's the thing. I mean, we don't need to get that. Deep we're not going to get it. super deep on it, but here's the thing. I. I have Trev. Why are you talking? About, okay, okay. Pay attention. I am. Okay. I, just, I don't. I don't know if I so, would. I don't know if I would. It, so I'm at the Palazzo and and the you know getting the elevator. What what floor are you on? Okay. I'm at New York, New York. Getting my brother going with his with his floor. He's a different floor than me. I'm in the Caesar's Palace. Go to my uncle's. I can't remember every freaking floor. So all I head back to the hotel room. Jamie's downstairs, uh, down in the play gambling, and I'm just gonna go up there because I because I, I, I could I've been using public restrooms this entire time, but I was like I'm just gonna go up there. I'm gonna change out my shirt, and so I I but I I, I and by I, shirt I mean my undies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna wear my my undies or my shirt as my undies. Um, I get into the elevator, and I, all of a sudden it just. Like as if someone gave me like in those movies where someone gets like, blanked like, out, you don't know where you're going. Well, no, the 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 X lax. Like all of a sudden, my gut goes, gug, gug, gug. and I'm like, oh shoot, this is coming a whole lot faster than I thought it was. And uh, and so, I, but I don't know what floor I'm on. You're right, I'm blanked out. So I'm like, I'm I'm really I can see you like pacing in the elevator, dude, and like a little bit of dude bead of sweat off your little. I was sweating. Bald head. Thirty. I was on seven. Thirty seven. <laughs> I'm actually on the thirty seventh floor. I go to the 38th floor and I'm walking around. This isn't it. This isn't it. Then I get back in. I'm like, well, maybe it's 48th floor. So I go to 48th. Doesn't it have I'm your- trying to te- – no, I just have the card. I don't uh, have the little have the sleeve. Envelope, the envelope. Yeah, so I'm taking that from now on. There, there's a rookie move. So I call, I'm trying to call Jamie. Obviously, she's gambling and not looking at her phone. I'm texting her. What room are we? What room are we? I got no service in the elevator. And I'm re- I'm like, well, maybe I can go all the way down to floor one again. Or and- just go find a restroom. No, there's none on on any on, you know. There's none on any of these floors unless it's, you go to the main floor. Yes, and and I was like, I can't make the main floor. Thankfully, Jamie calls me and go. I go, what floor are we? What floor are we? And she goes, it's we're thirty seven. I go, I just hang up. Were you tanked? No, no, I was just I I was just because I was about to shit my pants right then and there. So, <laughs> but you weren't tanked at all. No, not at all. No cocktails. Well, I mean, I had beers all day, but I wasn't like I was. I had a, maybe a buzz. But you were just like even keel, even keel, even keel with a little bit of with a turd shark nip. Oh, your dude, undies. it was sh- yeah, and and it's yeah. So I I get in the elevator again. Sick, Trav. Go down to the floor that I'm supposed Wait to be to on. Get you depends, ah, dude. I'm ready to. So we go to. I get. I, I see the door, and I unlock the door. And I go in the bathrooms, you know, right there. Oh, you 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 knew you were too close. And my body, it was an I, my body, my eyes. Saw, it wasn't me. See, this is the thing. It's not I didn't shit. My body shit my pants. So it's like I I didn't do it. My, I wasn't like oh I'm gonna do this. My body saw it and went into full on. It's there release mode, and I got it. I got it halfway in. And it was not, and it's not like a law. I mean, it was, you know what I'm saying? So it was, you know, it was, anyway, so. Oh, I didn't need the description. At the end of it, it was dumb and dumber for, for a bit. Someone called me during it, and I and it was one of my cousins that were that was there, and I, and I stuffed the phone in the pocket just because I'm like, oh, and I was actually mortified that I possibly because I got in the door. I see them call. I stuff in the pocket. My body sees the toilet. My eyes see the toilet. My body realizes it's the toilet. It releases. I go to the bathroom and I think I'm like, oh crap! Maybe I accidentally open or turn, oh, you know, like answered the phone, <laughs> answered the me. phone to my cousin. You almost shit on your cousin. It was so bad. But what I did, it was at that point a murder scene. I had to clean. I don't it. need details, but. I, I had to imagine. clean it up. I can imagine. I, had I don't need clean. details. Had to clean it up. So did you just throw it away? Yes. You have to. I just at that point balled it up 
put put uh, put two. How long did it take pl- you to tell your wife? Away. I wasn't gonna tell her. How long did it take you though? As soon as I got did down there, shut, I saw her. Did you bathe? As soon. Oh yeah, no. I was again. Mur- I, I it was like Pulp Fiction where that guy gets his head blown off in that classic car, and then they call the, they call the cleaner or the retriever or whatever he is. He goes in there, and he's just like, "That was me." Like it was like crime scene blood. You know, well, there wasn't blood, but you know, like, I, I clean everything up. Get down there, and plus every you know every hotel smells like sewage anyways. It, it does it, in it, Vegas. Why? I think the old. It's the old uh, pipes. I think it's got some old, like, weird piping. It does smell. And when it's hot, it's horrible. Yeah, it's bad. So it kind of had that going in my favor. Um, but Did but rooms smell like that? Rooms didn't. It's just the hallways. You get in the hallways. So, so they they did give you the, the uh, v, quote, unquote, <laughs> VIP suite right next v, to the old maid's closet. The old VI poopy suite. <laughs> right next yeah. to the old maid's closet. So, yeah. So, Jamie, I, I, I was like, I'm, I'm, I'm like, dude, my wife is never going to talk. Like, is she never, like, is that, that's got to be the least attractive thing is you're like, hey, by the way, I just shit my pants in the. And and you know, well, I wouldn't tell it on a podcast either, but I like your style. <laughs> <laughs> well, I immediately text the guys too, and I said, "Hey, remind, remind me to tell you around." But I wanted to tell you in person. I want to get your reaction. Oh too. wow, I'm grateful for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Next time, I'll just take pics and just send it out. <laughs> great, great vis. Um, <laughs> <laughs> great vis, Trav. <coughs> Another reason for me not to go to Vegas. <laughs> with me, especially. <laughs> yeah, seriously. <sighs> well, I wouldn't want to go to Vegas with you, I don't feel like. Because you'd be you like... You wouldn't be able to hang. Like, hey, guys. Hey, guys. You wouldn't be able to... Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Yeah. Hey, guys. Yeah. Want to go? Want to go? Want to go to the arcade? Hey, guys. Want to yeah. go to the pool? Yeah. Hey, guys. Hey, no, guys. no, no, no. It would be, hey, I'm going to stop at this machine for an hour. Hey, I'm going to stop at this machine for an hour. And this one for a half an hour. It w- It probably wouldn't be fun to go with me. And it'd be like, hey... If if we did go, it'd be like okay. Are you betting max bets when you're out here? Yeah. Or are you? Yeah. Oh yeah. So how are you sitting there for an hour? I'm winning, and then I'm losing. Then I'm winning, and then I'm Nobody's losing. Nobody's winning a slot machine in Vegas. Nobody. Well, Jamie was crushing. I was the black hole. It was. I was just going away. All right, we talked too much about Vegas. Uh, I've got we talked too much about your shit. <sighs> but it was a good one. It was. I mean, oh, it the sound story. Like a good the one story. The story was a good one. Uh, all right, so. You were growing up. Were you watching TV? Like, were you watching movies on the TV? Like, uh, you know, like edited type ones of like Terminator and, and edited. Uh, no, I wasn't watching anything edited. Well, I'm just saying, like, you know, where they turn on KSTW and they'd have some oh, for like on actual TV. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. Right, right. Were you ever like yeah, sure. watching uh, sure. Predator? Was, yeah, but I was more into like real life stuff, like Three's Company. Really? Yeah, I'd watch it every day before school. Really? Three's Company before in high school. Loved it. Get ready. Go watch Jack Tripper. Oh, man. And the ladies. And the ladies. <laughs> Suzanne Summers and that other chick. Uh, well, I was going to ask you. Well, I just I, I thought it was entertaining and I thought it was good. I watched that. Uh, my sister used to like Little House on the Prairie and I'd rather. I love Little House on the Prairie. I'd rather eat lead paint than watch lead <laughs> <laughs> then watch freaking Little House on the Prairie. I could never get into it. I never understood it. I'm like, this is stupid. Well, that I mean, they had it was always heartwarming. It was always heartwarming. But you like the you like the humor. You like the I like the humor. I like Mr. Roper. I liked uh Was that Don Knotts? Who's Don Knotts? The old guy? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he was Mr. Roper. I think so. And uh, then Jack Tripper. What if you could have been a star in any movie then? Which movie series would you have chosen? Would it be like James Bond? Would it be like Terminator? What like what I series? Feel like I could probably play in lots of series. I could see you being in a jungle like that. Pred- I could see Predator. I feel like you're an action star. You got the action star look. Like you're just sweating. You've got paint on your face. Rambo type things. Like you're shooting up people. Oh, Rambo. Yeah. But you're like not Rambo. You're like the guy that's there in the very beginning of the movie that does it that all stumbles over a trip wire and blows half the team up and then you die too. That wow. would be your that would be you. Okay. Um <laughs> I would <laughs> I was gonna say like I'd be like a great like uh Mr. Gatsby, the Gatsby, the Great Gatsby. Yeah. Oh yeah, just living it I up. I could see me playing that role. Just coming down in a hot air balloon. Just yeah. everyone's a popper around the Gatsby. you. Gatsby, that could be me. I you could, are. I could have rocked that role, me and Leo. I'm impressed. 
I'm impressed. I could see oh. that too. You look oh. more like a like a like a henchman villain. That's what I see. Like, I mean, I can I can go either way. You know what I mean? Like, well, yeah, I've heard. Three, put me in a four or five piece suit, or put me in freaking uh, like a torn tank top and uh, wife beater, and you could do it all. Wreck. That's that's Shop. exactly who you are. Uh, uh, if you could serve as vice president under any president in the United States, who would you be? Who would be your president? Oh, boy. Would it be Joe Biden? Fuck no. <laughs> Don't answer. I'm not gonna. <laughs> uh, uh, <coughs> these questions are definitely for you. Um, we're gonna skip that one. Uh, these there's these are rapid fire questions from all our listeners. What two? Who oh, I already know. I already know. This is this is like the honeymoon. This is like what's that called? What honey? Uh, what's the one where like you could guess the other person? Like, they did it for. Uh, gosh, what was that? What was that game show where you would oh. s- you'd sit with someone and the say like, show or the yeah, love, some, love something. I mean, somewhere like you knew your partner well enough, and it was like it was like on their honeymoon, and and you could be like, oh no, I thought you were talking about the one where it was like the dating show. Yeah, it would be like three guys behind one, whatever. So I'm already gonna. I already know what this is. I think. I hope I know what this is. What two adjectives describe you best? Two. What do you think it is? Sweet. Meat. Nice. Is that? Do you think that's what it is? Sweet meat. Sweet meat. What two adjectives? I mean, that one of them is a noun, actually. But <laughs> what would you would you agree with that or, or disagree with what? I'll agree with that. Okay, I like that. That's good. Yeah. Uh, so. Uh, in football, what's the strangest thing to celebrate? You see a player celebrating over something. Do you just like kind of like like why? And, I, and I've got mine. I would actually disagree with your last comment. Okay, what would it be? <sighs> kind, <laughs> loving. Okay. That's it. Just two. Kind and loving. Sweet. Meat. Handsome. Meat. Uh, what's the... Okay. What's the strangest thing? I don't like it when people like... I don't know. Like, I I get it. Like, if they're part of something but didn't really do anything. Like, like Yeah. Like, the cornerback. <laughs> yeah. Like, the thing for me... I, I can see that. I can see that. Where someone's just running off the sidelines and jumping into the... Yeah. In, into the group, they're celebrating. A like, guy comes off the field and like it just made a sack, and like a DB is like crip walking next to him. Like, <laughs> cool, bro. You didn't even do anything. Well, I think I feel like the corners, but yeah, what, it's what, a team what, sport, so yeah. you know the team or, or the or the ball that gets like overthrown by like twenty feet, and then the corners just in the background, just like yeah, incomplete, incomplete. Like they yeah. like they did when it. They didn't do anything. They didn't yeah. do shit. They would have got burned actually yeah. if if the, if there was a good throw. Well, the guy's ten yards past him. <laughs> yes, you suck. <laughs> Complete. <laughs> Holding up the fourth down, dude. If that guy would have caught it, he'd still be running. <laughs> Hey, I was going to ask you this. Uh, how often are you trying to trick the officials? Like, like, you, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like it's fourth and it's fourth and one. I see this all the time. It's fourth and one, and the defense is trying to make a stand, and the uh, the quarterback does a QB sneak, barely gets over, and they're like fourth. All right, we did it, we did it, we did it. You know, like, are you trying to trick the officials into hopefully going your way on that, even though you know that there's possibly instant replay? You gotta think though that, dude, like in a physical game or physical sport like that, everybody's vocal. Everybody wants their team, you know, like, oh, didn't get it. Oh, and the other team's like, we got it. Like first down, showing the first down, like, you know, hand signal, and then the other guys are like, no, it didn't get it. Like, and that's why the refs get paid, right? That's why they get paid. Next question, offensive linemen, we know this. They don't talk. They're not paid to talk. They are the one of the funniest people you said that. They're the they're the they're the ones that you that you would have at your party, your wedding, reception. Yeah. But but you don't see them get interviewed. You don't but they're the fun ones. <laughs> have you ever seen a dominant player that never had to, that never talked? Like if you look at like some of the great defensive players in the past, they're always chirping. They're always trying to get. Is that is that part of the game now? Is to chirp in the other person's head, 
Or is there any just silent killers out there that just don't say anything, go out there and dominate? I feel like Donald's a dude that or who's prevalent right now. I don't see him talking much. He does his job and he is feared, I'm assuming. Yeah. Because he dominates everybody. True. And I don't see him talk like in the last game, a DB came in or a running back like said something Fournette said something to him and like he smiled, but other than that, like it was Well, like, I did see him uh choke a guy yeah. recently. But uh yeah. that's true. I know. Yeah. Was he choking him or what was he doing? I don't, I don't know. know. Uh, and then hands to the face. Yep. Did anyone fake hands to the face? Like, could you, if you knew, if you could throw your head back there enough, like, uh, 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 to, no, to dude, try to... you're not like trying to act in that role. Like, it's a violent, like, you're violent, you're fighting. Like, it's like every play. So if somebody's hands are in your face, you don't want your head back when you're trying to do your job. Right. Like, you're not like throwing your head back to like act to watch your quarterback get sacked or whatever. You know what I mean? <laughs> Oh shit! Sorry, coach. I was acting. I was. Tr- I was acting there. It was. It was third and fifteen. And I was trying to get was, the hands to the I was, face. I was acting. I was acting. I was acting. Well, it didn't work. He <laughs> sacked your quarterback for a ten yard loss. Well, someone gets just pops some dude, or he gets popped. He hops up, and then everyone smacks him on the helmet. Um, does getting smacked on the helmet hurt? Because I feel not like some for me, not for me, but like what I used to do with like our kicker. Yeah, <laughs> we stop that. You want me <laughs> waving my my legs at you? When I yeah, when I when, but when our kicker, like especially <laughs> in like college, <laughs> he was just sitting here lofting his legs, like just I don't know what he was doing. But anyways, <laughs> uh, the kicker. But no, our kicker in college, our kicker in college, like we the O line would stay out there, right? So then he'd kick an extra point or kick a field goal, and after he made it, every time I turn around and I would like, I'm talking Wayle, like really? I would hit him three times every time. Did the, he hate it? I'm sure, but like then I'd hug him and be like, "Good job," you know, hit him one more time. But like I would like not because they don't they don't ever, dude. And I'm telling you, like prime example is like playing football for years and getting hit in the head so much your you like brain and body like adapt to it like so you didn't feel it getting the head is not anything right but like putting a helmet on if i put a helmet on right now like putting a helmet on a year afterwards which i did and like getting hit in the head you were just like what the shit like it rattles your skull dude so you're like for a kicker that never gets hit just getting I would just like so, so this kicker's walk like around a, with freaking I would just do the typewriter on him real quick just one two three it, in congratulations it wasn't right. like out of spite but I right. just noticed myself doing it as years went on and I was like oh I hit him harder every time but I'm like whatever he's fine he's, but like he's, he's like adjusting his single like bar across <laughs> his face the hel- the leather helmet <laughs> um <laughs> uh yeah so <clears throat> what uh what do you think about the ha- – I mean, it's coming up. Wait, when it was this uh, – oh, yeah, this is right before. Uh, we already said – do we give a prediction yet on the Super Bowl? I want the Rams. Yeah, I want the Bengals. I would love – I like the Bengals too, dude. I, I, it's going to be a good game. I'm not an NFC – like some people are like, oh, it's NFC. You're Seahawks, NFC, or same no, division. I'm I like, just dude, like, I hate that. I'm I like, do too. But I normally do too. Like if <clears> we were the 49ers, I'd be going Bengals all day. And I right. like the Bengals a lot, to be honest right. with you. But – there's something about that front four on the defensive line that like intrigues that the makes, shit out of that me. That makes sense. So like I want to like um you know and for uh what's his name that came from freaking Detroit? What's his name that came Ramsey? from Ramsey? No. came from Detroit. The oh, Matt Stafford. Stafford yeah. to be there and like to see what Goff did there and then see what Stafford did here. I mean it's I don't know. It's pretty impressive. I'd like. I, I, I'm interested to watch it. Plus, their left tackle's been in the league for like 18 years. Whitworth. Oh yeah, dude. I'd love to see him win one, another one. Was he? Uh, who was he? Was he with? Dude, no, he's played in the league as an offensive lineman, left tackle, which is. Is that like it, 18 years? Almost as long as Brady. Would you consider that Hall of Fame? Is he? he is, oh, is, is, is he? Dude, Hall are of you fame? kidding me? Yeah, he might go first year. What? Oh, let's see how long. How long Whitworth's been, been and what teams he's been on? Because you said he might win another one. Did he win one originally? No. <clears throat> I'm, 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 I mean, maybe not. This may be his first one. I don't know. Keep going. I'll just try to find it. Here we go. Uh I'm keeping. Look, I'm looking. Play at LSU. 
he plays with the Rams now. Played uh he was he was a second round pick to the Bengals in the 2006 draft. So he's playing with a little revenge. Played maybe. with the Bengals for 11 season. He was named three-time Pro Bowls. Oh, he's Hall of Fame. One first-time All-Pro Bowl, and he came to the Rams uh, 2017. So now he's playing his – those are the only two teams he's ever played so for. So he's played for the Bengals and the Rams, and that's it. Yeah. That's incredible. And both teams are going. That's insane. He's going to want that bad. But that's pretty impressive for an offensive line. Well, so he's been – let's see. I mean – Long time, dude. That's uh, yeah. We're not doing the math. We don't have to figure out the grade. We don't have to figure out you know all that other stuff that you're. Oh, yeah, he's got. Oh, he's onto his toes. He's onto his toes now. He's uh oh, oh, He's <laughs> he's uh, guys literally making fun of me about lofting my legs. He's counting on his fingers right now. Come on, where are we at? Fifteen years. <laughs> I feel like you weren't that confident with that either. <laughs> <laughs> halftime show, though. This halftime show I'm looking forward to. Who's in it? I don't even Dr. know. Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg, oh, Eminem, yeah? uh, Mary J. Blige, and, uh, and finally Kendrick start- Lamar. They're finally starting to get a little more risque after the whole Janet Jackson thing. Yeah. Because ever since then, it's been like Rolling Stones and like U2. Mario Speedwagon. Yeah. And, and Bruno Mars. Last year, they had the weekend. Remember, he was like, lost in that like yeah it's like yeah. lip injections or something yes and then but i'm looking forward to this one dude this one's this one's gonna be great this one's gonna be good i cannot wait i'm excited for it too i didn't know who was even playing it that's how much i've seen he's been paying attention as far as halftime show goes if you could create the ultimate halftime show what four artists are you bringing on and got to remember they kind of got to mesh well together too. They got to kind of almost play a couple it songs might together. Might be what's going on right now. That would be yeah. Um, four. I like Kendrick Lamar in there. I like Snoop. I like Dre. Eminem brings a good piece to it too. I'm curious what Mary J. Blige brings to it, but those four are going to be pretty legit together. I yeah. Eminem. I don't know. I think he. I'm curious what he brings to the table now. Dre is old. Snoop, Snoop, Snoop doesn't age, but you can tell he ages. But he's also he sounds he sounds the same. Right. Dre shows up every like ten years, like for like he's he's like the groundhog. He just yeah. comes out just for a little moment and then yeah. he, then he leaves. Uh, and Kendrick, you know, I wouldn't mind seeing Ice Cube out there with him. Oh, and a, little, a couple some uh, a couple of Paul's just bouncing in the background. Ice Cube, Dre, get the whole NWA back together except for Easy E. I mean, eh, I wouldn't mind seeing like Dre, Snoop, Ice Cube, Kendrick Lamar, Eminem. Eh. Um, I don't. I, I I like Cube. I like Ice Cube. And I want you guys. You guys got to tell us your uh, message. Us your your who your halftime show is. I'll read a couple. My of those true off. one would probably be like Sticks, Heart. <laughs> Ariel Speedwagon and Foreigner. Uh, no, uh, and uh, New Kids. No, you like New Kids. I would do New Kids. I'd go New Kids, Vanilla Ice, MC Hammer, and uh, and then and then the ratings would tank. And then Boys to Men, ABC, DVD. No, 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 no. It's actually East no. Coast Family. Boys Is that what he says? Yeah. East Coast Family. <laughs> What do I say? I don't know words too well. Um, <clears throat> all right, so where are we at? Did you ever do the? Did you ever play Madden um, when you were growing up? Any? No, dude. I played Tecmo Bowl like crazy. Did you? And then I didn't get. I clearly didn't. I let the. Uh, I let the video games go right on past me because I was too busy. And now, I played and a little bit of Mad- I played a little Madden. Those in controllers probably don't fit in those paws too easily either. But not, yeah. I mean, I could still move on the sticks, but it just wasn't my thing. Like you, you. I can't wait to get out of here. I gotta get my headset on. I can't get my headset on. Can't wait to do it. Where are we jumping, boys? Are you? What are you into right now? Call of Duty? No, like, I, I played Call of Duty with well, KP and Mike and those guys. World but, of Warcraft. Like no, we got. You know, no, no. 
But uh, a PUBG. Uh, I've been PUBG in forever with my cousin. Cousin what is, Aaron. What is the, what, can you explain what PUBG even is? So it's, I mean, PUBG to me sounds like a club with yeah. served beer. Yeah, that's exactly. I just, I just, we just. It's a beer. It's a beer video. It's a bar video game. You just kind of walk around. It's you gotta like slide the beer down the bar, like perfect, <laughs> like on the stripes. Play some darts. On the uh, stripes. Yeah, just music. That'd be the game. I'd be in. So PUBG is a hundred. Uh, so you're one of 100 players, online players. You're not playing against any computer. It's just you versus 99. What do you do, though? It's a, it's a battle royale. So you shoot people? Everybody is in the same uh, plane at the very beginning. You go over an island. Everyone parachutes out. It's like Lord of the Flies afterwards, and you kill each other. You have to, then you, yeah, then you're picking up guns. You're picking up gear, protect, and you're just going, and you're just... yeah, And, and everyone's spread out. Like It's not everyone just like just shooting right away like you're hiding behind rocks you might see one or t- maybe three or four people are match because it's so you just spread go out. to the far end of the island and you're just hide. and you're just yeah well they and then they cre- create this circle that closes every three minutes so that they have to and if you're in that circle you die so it forces you to eventually out. yeah so and then whoever wins basically when how, how you win the matches if you're the last lone survivor how long does one of those games last uh if you're the lone survivor probably 25 minutes 30 minutes if you are like me, you die within five minutes and go, okay, back in on the next pal. Sounds awesome. <laughs> Not a time waster at all. That sounds awesome. Not a time waster at all. Seriously, Jamie, could you uh, please give me a um, <laughs> a, a, a LaCroix, please? I'm, uh, I can't pause it. I can't, it's an online game. I can't pause it. <laughs> you give me a LaCroix. <laughs> oh, you idiot. <laughs> Um, I would love to be a fly on the wall. And just hear what, what do you, you got say. coming up? Do you got anything? hear what you say when you got your headset on? Do you, what do you What do you got going on? You got anything coming Changing up? Changing the subject. You got anything going on? Changing you got the old, coming, coming, changing the old subject. Coming up in the future. You got You got anything? What do you got? March. It's starting to warm up a little bit. Hope so, man. I'm ready for some sun. I need some sun too. I need some sun. This is the best you've ever looked, though. What I'm looking at right now. Oh yeah. And then yeah, I'm gonna say. What? Go ahead, say it. Well, then in April it'll or you know probably be a little, little tighter, yeah. and then May tighter, and then June. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> it's just like I don't know if you ever seen that Simpsons where uh, where where Homer he gets. Do he, I look he, a little tighter too? You do. Look a don't tighter. lie. You do. It's the shirt. Yeah. Well, the shirt underneath that's holding it in. I don't have a shirt underneath. The, well, then there you go. You look good, dude. Are you just wearing men's banks. Right just <laughs> manx. Uh, just upper upper manx. <laughs> <laughs> You're ridiculous. Um, well, let's uh, let's do this again sometime. We shall. And then uh, you know, go go uh, Bengals. Go. Ram. I mean, I'm down for the Bengals too. I just want to see a good football game. A good dude. Can I? I feel okay. I've this is like my favorite Super Bowl because you're not really bought into anybody. If I was going to bet on somebody. Uh, yeah, I made bets down there too. And I was. What'd you do? Uh, I won the Rams and I, I won the Rams one over the Niners and I won the. Uh, uh, the I chose the Bengals and I was with a bunch of Kansas City fans too. No way. I was the only one rooting for the Bengals. And uh, you? that's why I walk with a limp right now. They cut my Achilles. <laughs> Uh, and then I did. I took the over, which was fifty four and a half, and I was rooting for a touchdown in overtime. <laughs> if a, if a, if a touchdown instead of a field goal would have. So when they ran it again with Mixon, I'm yeah. like, get in the freaking end zone. What would you want? Uh, twenty bucks. Oh boy. <laughs> Barn burner. <laughs> Barn burner. I did put twenty bucks on the Mariners. To win the pennant, not go all the way to the world, or not win the World Series, but win the pennant, and that's eighteen to one. I'll win three hundred eighty dollars on that. So, wow. Anyway, everyone, thanks so much for listening. We love you guys so much. We would love questions. And by the way, we're gonna get Seth. We're gonna get Seth Loop on one of these with you, so you guys can reminisce and he can talk about that one time bullshit at band camp. Everyone, thanks so much. Love you. Love you, Joey. Thanks for having me, bro. Bro. Thanks for listening. Holler and a holler back. Holler back. Joey Hollenbeck. <laughs>